Tonight's big story, a newborn baby was found abandoned in Mesa, left on a woman's doorstep. Good evening, everyone, and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Kariba Devine. I'm Mark Curtis. The shocking discovery happened near McKellips and Wrecker today. The woman says she found the child a few minutes after someone rang her doorbell. Now, fortunately, the baby is okay, but as Team 12's Adriana Loya explains, the outcome could have been a lot worse. Well, police say the newborn was left outside of the home in the middle of the day when temperatures were well over 100 degrees. All of this happening just a mile and a half away from this fire station, which is a designated safe haven for babies to be surrendered. It's just unimaginable, unthinkable. Less than 24 hours into this world and this little one wrapped in a baby blue blanket already surpassing the odds. Luckily, it, it ended OK for the baby this time. The newborn was found abandoned in a home in Mesa near Wrecker and McKellips Roads. Having to open the door and the baby was right in front of the door um, on the ground. Friday around 11.30 a.m., a woman finding the baby on her doorstep after someone rang her doorbell. She saw somebody pull in uh, to the parking spot behind me. She saw feet that she identified as a woman's feet. The police apparently think that that must have been the person that, that dropped, dropped the baby off. Police say the baby is less than a day old. He was taken to a hospital for observation, luckily alive and well. But that was not the case a week ago when a newborn's remains were found near 33rd Avenue and Pearson Street. And then on March 28th, Another baby was found dead in a restaurant bathroom near 35th Avenue and Indian School Road. By the time that somebody finds them, especially in this heat, uh, it's, it's pretty rare. So we got super lucky today. Darian Gibson is a Glendale firefighter. He volunteers for Save Baby Haven, an organization that helps people in similar situations. You reach out to us and we can guide you through the whole process. Like the last thing that we uh, will offer is the safe haven because we want to make sure that you can be a parent. And if you don't think you can, can we get you into foster care or adoption agencies? And then if, if it is a last ditch thing where you need to go and you need to give your baby to us, we'll take it. Since 2001, the agency safely taken in 55 babies, hoping to improve the odds of many more. Super blessed that the baby's alive, but we still have a lot, of, a lot more education to do now, police say the newborn has no relation to the woman who found him, but the department hopes that if you have any information, you give him a call. In Mesa, Adriana Loya, 12 News. All right.